Today marks one year since South Dakota confirmed its first case of COVID-19. Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken, along with representatives from Sanford and Avera, spoke about what has happened over the past year with the pandemic. Kettle Lands Tom Hansen continues our team coverage. So I have a level of optimism right now in the community that uh, I haven't had in a long time. Mayor I'm Paul Tenhaken says it's hard to imagine our world pre-COVID. He says the last year has been tough on everyone, but things are moving in the right direction. Avera's chief medical officer says it's been a year of challenges and changes. Dr. Mike Elliott says the hospitals worked together and made strides in areas like telemedicine, home care, and information hotlines. As for moving forward, vaccines are the key. That is our one glowing hope right now. It is our, our most direct path forward. Sanford's vice president of nursing and clinical services says the vaccines are safe and effective. I encourage people that are not sure about the vaccine to ask questions, clarify um, what your concerns are. If, if it's the side effect pro profile or the efficacy, seek out your health care provider and ask those questions so you can make an informed decision. Not lost the enough. mayor says the lower number of hospitalizations is also an encouraging sign that the end is in sight. He also pointed out something the charts don't show. Tenhaken believes the pandemic has taken a toll on people's emotional and mental health. He says this was highlighted for him during last night's city council meeting where the city's mask mandate was discontinued. Well, there's a lot of mental fragility in, in the community still from this, and there will be for some time. And, um, and I think that's going to be something that we're going to be working through long past where we end with, with COVID here. The mayor says the city has a lot of healing left to do, but he truly believes the worst is behind us. Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. Since the start of the pandemic, Kelloland News and Kelloland.com have been keeping you updated on every new development. For all the latest guidelines, case numbers, and vaccine information, just head to the Your Guide to Coronavirus page on our website on Kelloland.com.